What is up guys? Control here and today's video is going to be on Timo Sejuani. So what I mentioned, I apologize for not really uploading for the past week or so. Kind of just chilling out. I really don't want to burn out in a similar fashion to what I kind of had happen with Hearthstone. So I'm kind of just chilling out with Runeterra a little bit. There will be a new patch in about a week and I am starting to do daily uploads again and streaming uh, daily at about 5 to 6 p.m. PST is going to be the game plan. I did take one other little break from Runeterra previously and that was just when Troop of Elmix was really powerful. If you guys don't know what Troop of Elmix is, or you haven't played for a long time. Well, Troop of Elmux used to say play for the top 10 cards in your deck, summon each Elmux and shuffle the rest of your deck, I believe, which was a lot more consistent than the top six. Uh, it was a little bit oppressive to play during and was not that fun. Uh, I do think that this metagame is not as bad as that one, but you know, still just chilling out a little bit. I, I really don't want to burn out and have, I, I guess, a similar issue to what I've kind of experienced with Hearthstone. So I kind of just want to, you know, not be frustrated. I was reading a lot of comments about how, uh, you know, you guys enjoy the channel but you feel like my my commentary is maybe not as great because you know, it just seems like i'm not having as much fun or i'm salty or something so you know i kind of just stepped back and sort of agreed so i've been kind of just taking some time off playing some league and with friends off stream a little bit more that's about it you know I, i'll be back i'm uh, just jamming longer than two or three hour streams in about a week when the next balance patch goes up but you know we climbed a little bit in masters uh, i haven't played too too much because we've been playing more gauntlets labs that kind of stuff and expedition speed runs but for Masters, we kind of started at 187. And um, to begin the climb, it's a 413 so far, we played Timo Sejuani. And with that, we had a very quick 4 0. Also, I got a new mic. I don't know if you guys can tell. Birthday treat for myself. Pretty sweet. Uh, thank you for the Twitch Primes, the Tier 1 subs, donations, watching ads on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Figured I get this to just kind of increase the quality of stream. I like it. It's pretty nice. Again, I don't have all the settings down properly, but we'll figure it out in the next couple of days. Hope you guys like it. I think it sounds good. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. So Timo said Juwani. This deck is pretty sweet. Again, it's one that I played before and really not too much has changed. Big thing is going to be the Tavern Keepers playing those. I cut the Club of Wumps. I found that those cards were a little bit just not powerful enough right now, I guess. They don't do enough into the Elusives and the Noxus decks. Obviously, you do lose some spells. So that's not as great with, uh, you know, Starlet Seer, Puffcat Peddler. Or, I mean, just Timo in general, in general, the Clump of Lumps is very good for that. So we lost that, but that's okay. Also cut a Tusk Reader and a Ursine Spirit Walker to add one Static Shock. And then, I guess, the three Tavern Keepers as well. Felt like Spirit Walker was kind of underwhelming at some times, uh, but it's still quite a good card. I would also say the same thing with Tusk Reader. It's not that it's underwhelming, it's more that it's kind of a clunky card. And if there's a lot of Elusive decks slash, you know, Hearwing and Noxus ones, it gets a little bit worse where it's just more difficult to play. So just jamming this is a one of right now. And that's all I get. I would say that this deck in general can do pretty well, especially against those more aggressive decks. It, it would struggle a little bit more against something like, say, the Anivia decks right now. The Anivia list will do quite well against us. You can still pop off early game. It's just that they have a lot of removal for the Teemo, and that's generally how you're going to get there against the slower deck. So Teemo's not going to be as consistent in those matchups. Uh, but, you know, you do still have leveled up to Sejuani. You can keep Tusk Reader and matchups like that. Get like the, you know, 14, 12, 12, 14, sorry, be a sad Sejuani and pop off with that. Uh, but otherwise, the deck maintains a kind of similar play style. There's really not too much different. And if you're looking for more gameplay after this video, I will link the other two that I have done uh, in like the post game. You know, like the 20 second outro thing on YouTube. I have those two videos there. Very fun deck and one that is going to play in a similar fashion to that, but obviously the metagame is going to be a little bit different. As far as Mulligan goes, you want like Omenhawk, Teemo. Teemo being the best, Omenhawk being the second best for early game cards. Uh, keeping Starlet Seer and Puffcat Peddler is very good as well because these kind of scale you into the later game. Good aggressive decks, keeping the Tavern Keeper is very good. Super big card into Noxus. Uh, if you can look at what it lines up to, you do super well into, uh, well, I guess both the one Saboteur Pet. You do very well into Disciple, which is massive. You get farmed by Grenadier a little bit, so you don't really like that. But um, it gets a little bit better when you look at Iron Ballista. The, the Tavern Keeper lining up super well into that is very nice, and one of the reasons why you're a big fan of it. You know, you play Tavern Keeper, you, you jam like an Elixir Iron on it, and this Ballista just gets absolutely clapped. So big fan of that, and one of the reasons why the card is very good. Kind of heal up the damage you take from the one and twos early, and then, you know, you just say Ballista, you're dead, basically. Pretty good. Uh, that's about it for Mulligans, though. I'd say look for the, the ones, um, Teemo especially, and that's basically it. You want to keep Elixir of Iron as well. Uh, if you do have a good card to play with it, like Teemo slash Seer, even Peddler is good. Mystic Shot's good if you need removal early, and Thermo is just a pretty solid keep in general. Obviously, matchup dependent, right? Like, you don't really want this against, like, say, I don't know, Karma Ezreal, but hey, against uh, against Noxus decks, man, I mean, Thermo is really good, so 
keep an eye out for that. Ice Veil Archer can also be good if you're, you know, able to get some decent trades in. Like, again, against the Noxus decks, it's quite good. But it does do less well against slower decks like, say, Anivia, for example. Anivia or the, the Karma Ezreal type stuff. So, you know, worry about that um, when you're queuing into decks. Think about what you're playing against before you decide to keep this guy. But general ones, uh, Teemo, Omenhawk, Starlet Seer, Popcat Paddler. And when you're on evens with Teemo in hand, Shared Spoils is good as well. And against really slow decks, again, Tusk Reader can be a good keep. Sejuani, you also can keep if you want, but I feel like with the Tusk Reader deck, you're usually going to get there. But, you know, it's not the worst keep in the entire world, especially if you have good hand with, like, a, like say, like, a Teemo, a Starlet Seer, uh, you know, even, like, uh, an Elixir of Iron, then maybe you just say that the Sedge is a good keep just so you have one. Really not that bad. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I, I will apologize again for the break that I had. But, you know, that's just how it's got to go sometimes, man. I mean, I want to keep my content fresh. I want to stay in love with Runeterra. I think this is a wonderful game. And I don't want to have similar burnout issues that I have had in Hearthstone. So, you know, trying to just chill out, have fun with it, and have a good time. That's about it. You know, I really just don't want to, um, you know, feel like when I load this game up, it's it's work. It's just going to be like a grind, that kind of stuff. I really do want Runeterra to just stay fun. And, you know, I'm kind of approaching it with that mindset. Which, I, I guess, in a patch like this, which, I mean, doesn't happen very regularly again. Like, the last one was like, the triple next one for me. But it um, does kind of ruin the groove, I guess. Which blows. But it's better to take a break now, I think, than to continue pushing and, you know, maybe get a little bit burnt out before next patch happens, which could be a great one, for example. So, you know, just going to chill out. Uh, again, 5 to 6 p.m. PSC will be live, and daily YouTube videos are going to be back on track. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have an awesome day, and enjoy the dope gameplay. Okay, Elise Draven. This should be something fast. Got the Tavern Keeper, Teemo, Mystic Shot. Toss the Toss Creator. I'm going to say Mystic should be good. There's definitely better cards like the Seer here that we have than the um, than the good old no one's the wiser. Big Dog, but hey. Still works. In position. I'm taking that three man. It's definitely greedy in this matchup to do that, but hey. I'm about it. I probably don't open. I probably do play the Seer. So he can clear the Teemo now with like a Vile Feast. That's fine. I can also block with the Elise now. I think that I would just do this because I mean the Elise block is pretty free. I guess the only thing with that, right, is that I would then get the Mystic Shot here if he develops. So that in theory could be considered good. Ooh. Okay, okay. Um, that's kind of nuts. Sure. Play the Tavern Keeper, value trade, value trade, 2, 3, 1, 1 goes in. I guess 4, 3, and 1, 1 go in then. If I take value trades only. I'm at 14. I have a good way to clear this. I probably just have to tank it with this trade. Uh, I don't think it's using spells. I think it is a Tavern Keeper here. I don't have too much more to say than that. I think it is just a Tavern Keeper. It's a good card. Uh, it's one of the reasons why you want it is because, I mean, you just get a good body that trades wands and stuff like the Ballista, and it also just... Uh, well, I mean, it quite obviously heals you, right? Which ends up being pretty good. So we're just going to say that's okay, I think. Go to 15 here. It's going to have to be fine, unfortunately. Your mobile deck tracker is a good size on your galaxy. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay. Archer's not bad. Should just be the open, I think. We're not doing too much more than this here. So what we don't want to see is like a Baskus Rider here. Okay, well, I just got one, two, three, forward, which is basically Noxus in this meta game right now. They play one, two, three, fours into you. You're probably going to lose the game. Welcome to the meta game. It's very fun. Hit some buttons, I guess. To get the plunder next round, this should be worth it. I can still play Mystic Shot and Spirit Walker as well, so. It's okay. Save spell mana over the Archer. It's also better to play the Archer next round if he just develops, but he's probably just going to open, I think. That would be what I would wager would happen here. Ooh, hello, 5-5 five, five Puffcat Peddler. What's popping? Okay, buddy, you're going to chill out. Homie needs to relax. Well, developing did not help this guy. I'm going to tell you guys that much. 
quite bad for him, actually. Could just be like that. I miss like that, maybe. Mystic the 2 1, Ursa will block the at. Um, she's only a 6 6 though, so 6 6 only just trades this. Which should still be fine in theory. Could also just draw a better card to play next round as well. It's always a possibility too. But uh, okay, not bad. At this point, I would say that outside of like heroing, this game's winnable. I don't have a sad Juwani, and it's one of the big ones that does make it a lot more than winnable. It makes it like I would wager favorite even. That's pretty big. Do I play the walker now though? Probably do play the walker now, I think. Over the archer. Archer attack is kind of a vibe too though, to be fair. Yeah, I mean you could I mean you could argue you could argue archer attacks better. I could, I could definitely see that being uh, higher of higher value, I guess. So we do this. This trade's good for us because this card has Overwhelm, right? And because it has Overwhelm, it's going to be clapping our cheeks. I, I basically just have to say that if he has Harrowing here, I'm just not going to win. That's one of the things I think we have to accept. It's, just, it's not going to be realistic for us to beat that, so I just can't play around it. Just the way the game's going to go. Okay, well, he's gonna open attack with all that shit, and that's gonna do a lot of damage to us, but. Ooh, Elixir's nice. Oh, three shrooms. Okay. Never see it coming. Got for him. That's pretty big for the Teemo. Okay. I mean, if I'm looking, actually, that's kind of a misplay. If I'm looking to block that, I should have actually hit the fearsome units, I think. I think just based on the shrooms, though, like, we're probably fine, right? He's going to be at six next round. He'll be drawing two shrooms for every one card that he plays. We're relatively even on units. It's kind of just a good look at this point, I think. Okay, that does not do very much here. That does a lot, though. So ways that I lose are cards like Darius, I guess. A Darius top deck, he doesn't, no, he doesn't play Darius, my bad. It's three even at least, my bad. One, okay. No develop. Why does my life total say four? That is not very good. I am not a fan of that. My life soul says two now. That is also not very good. That being said, I think that everything that he's gonna be able to kill me with, if I clear this 4-3, is gonna have to be slow. So assuming we draw, or he draws one shroom, we should just win with the open attack, right? Because like Decimates basically is only out here. And I just open an attack and then we win. GG. That one was a little bit tough. Teemo definitely popped. Really nice that we had that early. Yeah, Solid Seer was obviously really big too, right? Super big reason as to why we won that game. Might we sin? Now we're talking. So... Might we sin stuff is kind of scary, actually. Uh, this may just be a full keep as well. Archie's maybe not that good, but... Tech did I play to climb the Masteries? Um... I believe from like low diamond, I played TF Ezreal for 10 games or so, and then I finished it off with like 25 Brahm swing games. 25 or so, at least. I think I just take the damage here. Hey, Timo, I don't like the thermo here, I don't think. It's maybe greedy though, but I don't think I like it. Added the Pebble Clap to the channel, my friends. 
Could definitely still play that though. Uh, but yeah, this is basically just the list. Pretty straightforward. Brawl Swains, um, just like the Broken Disciple demo transfusion package and then good spells to back them up. Pretty straightforward. You want to climb in Runeterra? Swain is a good champion to uh, to utilize for sure. I want to show spells here. I feel like this here is still better to develop. I like to develop an attack here. If, like, if he wants to block, he can. It's good for us. Otherwise, we get two damage. I feel like I'm going to get the shirt spoils later, so I don't really have to like rush it. It's good that we don't have spell mana, because Thermo just beats Draven as well, right? It's going to be his average play, because it just farms his board. Let's play Thermo into it, and then he's kind of not that happy. Me too, kiddo. So you can transfusion 2-1 into this to kind of buff that up and then just make the transfusion work. He's got a 5 attack to even to go in with. Otherwise, we're pretty happy. Even then, we have Mystic to follow up with, so really no complaints there, I don't think. Sure, that's fine as well, right? It's basically the whole turn, so... I don't get a spell casted, we don't get a buff. Gets a Draven back, but he has no spell mana for return, so... Again, not really an issue. Let's not ruffle our feathers! Um, imagine forgetting he had that in his hands. Nice, uh, nice Starlet Seer value. Let's go. I'm so good at this game, dude. Actually so talented. So like, who needs Starlet Seer value? We can just top deck a second one. We did, like, clear the 3-1, which is not bad. And we actually got him to, I guess, use the axe, but... It's it's definitely not what I would call worth it. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not trying to spin that to, to make it sound like my play was good because it really wasn't. This would be a Tavern Keeper sure. Next turn we draw is going to be plus 2 team. Pretty big. It's really good for blundering. Super big. The hand's like a little bit too reactive right now, I find. Not the biggest fan of it. Katarina with a barrier. Oh man. Um, you can't strike when you have zero attack power, so. Hit him with the Archer Dad. That's a dead Teemo though. Teemo is very, very dead here. Especially because we don't have another one. I mean, if I had another Teemo, I'd just play the Shroom anyways, make him 2 2, but it's a big sad. Just Absolute champ for Teemo, boys. You fought the good fight. Tried his hardest. Sometimes your hardest is not good enough. This is how it goes. Like the pass is good play. Sans really not doing too much, huh? Getting some awkward draws here right now. So he doesn't really want to block with the cat. Or he does, okay. Sure. Probably not too happy about that. Committing the mana, having it do nothing here. The flip side, I'm pretty happy. Good stuff. Get the buffs to the card. The next card we draw now is going to be plus 3-3. Three, three. Yikes. That is a good thermo. Now we're getting plus 4-4 four, four for the next unit. Really going to hope that's something like the Teemo, man. Teemo Sedge, like one of those. Uh, I, I guess I'll have like Will of Ionia's. So, I mean, it's not even like really that insane for whatever we draw. I see as I drew, I draw like what the fourth or fifth spell in a row now, which is kind of not the best. It's okay now. Go four four tavern keeper, I think. Cool. Don't block that. I don't think. Let's pass. I fight with my spirit, not sure. my fist. So, is Thermo ever the luck here? Could play Thermo or could develop another Tavern Keeper? I, I feel like wider feels better than just clearing a Draven here. 
Okay, I think I want to thermal like something bigger. Lee Sin's a very bad thermal target because he can just give a barrier. So it's not really the play. Because obviously when you do thermal, you lose all of your um, your mana, right? To do it. Pain is Thick. That's the set you want you want to see. Let's go, dude. Four to five as well. He's horned out, dude. This guy's five mana, so we can still do all the uh, the will stuff if he so chooses. Just not ideal for us. Stand and fight. The call for the storm. I think it's like that. I won't feel a thing. Sure. Your lesson begins. Sure. It's a one. But he plays the Will of Ionia. This guy's a genius. Crazy gameplay. I never would have imagined. Oh my god, he did it. This guy is playing out of his mind right now. Hit the mystic shot. He'll never expect it. Second horned out dragon. Gone. Just like that. I don't think I want to thermal the 1-1. One, one. It's actually like a, a thing we can think about that I maybe talk about a little bit. But I don't think it's really going to be worth it. No, Bubble Bear Hyper Aggro is safe for the gauntlet. I, I do like to bust out unconstructed occasionally, but I feel like that's kind of like a gauntlet specialty. So for constructed, for today at least, Timo's going to move for a little bit. I'm not too sure we'll move on to in a little bit, but for a while, Team Lucy was definitely the vibe. Okay, so he wants his Dragonling. Interesting. I almost feel like the Thermo is like kind of just fine. To be honest, like he's, he's kind of relying on the healing, I think, so I feel like this is okay. It's so maybe a bait, but I'm not really too upset with that. Yeah, we were talking Yasuo something yesterday. That's what I was supposed to play today, but I corrupted my uh, my two hour recording of this deck yesterday, so we're re-recording it. I'm very good at doing that. That is a juice up Omen Hawk, man. Turbo juice up. How does he remove all these cards if we just pass? I was gonna say, it has to be like some bait for me to play Sajuani, right? So we start with the Hawk and then we go from there, and yeah, it's just a good dub. That one was a little bit of a weird win, not gonna lie. Like, the, the lack of minions was a little bit weird, but with the Starlet Seer, it ended up being okay. Obviously, I threw, I think, early by letting my first Seer die. But, sometimes you get a second Seer and you're fine. Saj Ash. Saj Ash is a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult, I'd say. And some other matchups that we'd like to have. Ice Field's not bad. I almost even want to keep the Wump, I think. Maybe just the Wump. It's nice. So want to get buff cards, I think. Thermo is also pretty good. So Juwani's kind of good too. Omenhawk one turn two lane? Come on, bro. It's one of the biggest SMHs of, I've SMH all day long. Turn three. Patience. It's Frappa. I don't really want to arch of that. It feels like it's super not worth it. The Thermo also feels like it's super unworth as well. If that's the case, what do we do then? Is this going to be a chump block with Omen Huck? Probably. Could not jump block with anything, just say my cards can die. I think I plunder if I just open with these as well next rounds. Maybe this is okay. Might be overvaluing the thermo and just say that like this is fine for tempo. An auspicious season. 
That could also be overvaluing the tempo for this matchup as well. I think just like the idea that double buff is just good. You usually are going to get very powerful units when that's the case. So this Ash just goes in and does stuff here if he opens. All of the Tavern Keepers, dude. Holy. 5-5 five, five Yeti Man card, okay. I can freeze the Ash, I guess, and then you want to attack with Ash. Can Reckoning? Is that like the best thing you can do? Reckoning kills the Ash now, though. Glory Seeker Gamer, okay. So he's gonna kill the 2 3, then I just play the shrooms, I guess, to get value. And then we figure out what we do after that. Really good value with this, this game. The series nuts. Definitely popping. It's crazy how much uh, the buff for making this a 2-2 two, uh, two, two to a 2-3 matters. But it's really just made the card go from being like to be completely like unplayable to actually decent. Oh no, Brittle Seal. How unexpected. Is he gonna Sejuani my Sejuani? He wouldn't dare, right? Or would he? The madman does not want to Sejuani my Sejuani. Flash freezes my Sejuani instead. Poggers! This doesn't feel like it's so far, I'll tell you guys that much. That's a good draw. Pretty big, actually. I'm gonna get a buffed unit with this, so it's actually a decent draw. I'm not guaranteed to get like the top unit because I mean it's only one of the top three that I draw here. Enough stalling. Nothing escapes my own. Sure. What's theirs is ours. Mm, I mean, this doesn't really trade that well. It lets the side go on though because it's high attack. Can freeze like one of the five fives. Small one probably. Winter, take you. He has harsh winds mana still is the problem. Yeah, this is something that he gets, I think. Uh I feel like playing the Spirit Walker was good. But I think this is better. Because I gotta play another 5-5. Five five. I obviously don't get the Spirit Walker in play until like after the facts or after the phase, but. Leave your bags at the door. It's not decent. I don't like the thermal on the ash here, I don't think. What will you have? He won't attack, our trades are too good. His trades like kinda just suck here. Unless he has like a fury. That's not like any freeze effects, right? It's not even like the, it's the case that it's just gonna be Fury that's gonna make them bad. It's really any form of like freezing that makes it kind of shit for us, so I shouldn't really just say that because it's not really true. Two to the Nog and let's go. It's uh, Ursine plus Thermo luck here. That's really good for juice from. If he rips the second one, this game's done. I can't have value that. He's already up too many cards to stop the Assassin, so it's already gonna be tough, but that's gonna make it even harder than it already was. Like, actually a fat F in the champ for that one. Really, dude? That is, uh... Well, not very good. Let's put it that way. I 
to clear that ash, you just replace another one. Which I guess is okay. It's just I this feels like it's an L now, dude. It is not a good look. Which is fine. Two books. I can freeze everything now. That's actually really, really nice, stream brother. But then I don't get to freeze everything with a mystic now. Oh, dude. Yikes. But I get a Tusk Raider that gives me a bigger Sejuani. He also has a 10 card hand somehow. Ugh. I'm gonna puke, dude. The 10 card hand. I mean, he can't develop like that that much, right? He only has nine mana here. He's not gonna bounce back. I need to see what else he plays. Calling. Okay. So if I go Tusk Reader, I can block two favorably. I can block one unfavorably, and then I can Mystic Shot with the side Juani next round, so I should say okay to that. Twelve fourteen. If that's not thick, I don't know what thick is, boys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do not know what thick is if this is not thick. <sighs> Health is a resource? Not really at this point, to be honest. I mean, I, I have jump blockers. I don't have overwhelm. Ash is too off from leveling, so he needs to play a harsh winds and an ash. I'm not, I'm not really concerned with where my health total's at, really. I feel like that's like really one of the, the I guess, things that people I maybe look at a little bit too much as far as things go. So you can play Ash now, and then he has. Oh, okay. I mean, that's kind of bad. Because it has Overwhelm, obviously, but okay. That's fine. It's maybe the only attack. Could be the only attack, at least. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. Figuring it out. Stay back. Cool. I, was I like the overall on these, that's why I'm gonna keep them. Pain is so he's gotta freeze this edge for sure. That's just a given. I have to miss his face usually. I probably should have played the uh, the shared spoils first. I think. It's my bad. The fruits of conquest. Born for conquest. That is big boys. Big, big, big. So we do the attack thing. Probably will actually have to. I mean, I don't know if I have to miss it here. If he just like freezes it, like the Sajin or like one of these to clear with the wolf. So I'm gonna need the uh, the Mystic to like kill him with eventually, right? Or maybe block his attack for next phase, I guess. I guess it's if he is like calling here, I lose the game, right? It's around 21. So if he's calling to answer the Sedge, I'm just not gonna win. You can also just calling the Sedge when I Mystic as well. I guess if, if that's the case, I don't win though, so I shouldn't play around it. I think it's correct to not play around it at least. It's a tough one because it's so likely, right? But I feel like I don't really have a choice here. Kind of sucks. It's one of those where like I'm in a bad spot if I do, I'm in a bad spot if I don't. I, I really don't have uh, too many options. Crystal arrow, sure. So no calling. This guy still has four cards in hands. Jesus, dude. Actually insane. Of course I top deck another Mystic Shot. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm probably gonna have to double Mystic here because he's gonna play calling. So I play Mystic. Say okay. 
No. Sure. Cool attack base. Thick. Couple extra C's there, boys. Just a few. I think I do want to put these shrooms in the deck. It's unlikely we get more value with the Peddler or the uh, the series, so. Well, Peddler would be really, really good with the shrooms. I mean, just putting 10 in there is pretty relevant as well. Get that freeze at the start of the round, uh, so you don't have to waste an action on it. Just attack. Pop off. No tank top today. Well, sometimes they're in the laundry, unfortunately. I apologize. I have quite a few, but uh, I went out today. I actually left my house. I went to go try a chair on. Or try a chair out. He yeah, doesn't like the fucking, what are they, Carmen Corden or some shit? They're like pretty expensive office chairs. Some shit like that. I don't remember what the name of it is. Some bougie ass office chair. There's some guy selling like a refurbished one for like 500 bucks or something. I went to go try that out today. So way too fucking expensive, man. Way too expensive, bro. Herman Miller, that is correct. Yes, sir. That is the one. The Millas. So you have, okay, big flex body, all right? Somebody in chat has got some money. Uh, team was kind of a good look. Spell-wise, he doesn't do that much, so I think I do the team stuff. Because even if Sedge doesn't work, Teemo just solos him here, so. Plus a Mystic, right? It's lethal. Definitely nice, though. And this one is, like, literally the, the most budget gamer chair you could possibly get. I got it for, like, 150 I think, off Craigslist or some shit. Some dude said it comes straight from China. It was, like, uh... uh it was a vibe. I'll tell you that much. It was a vibe. Teemo Sedge is bold in this meta. I respect it. Thank you. Okay, button hit the mystic shot. It's definitely not the best deck right now. Um, just like last patch, but I'm still doing well with it. Like this is um third game, third win, so it's not terrible. But it also really isn't that great either. I would agree with that. But you know what? Some days you just wake up, and you're like, you know what? Today we're playing Teemo, and today we're playing Teemo. That's all I really gotta say. If you're feeling the Teemo, you gotta just jam it. So Nautilus, Malakic Thresh. So they toss the shrooms until late game, right? But if you make it to late game, I mean, the shrooms aren't going to be that relevant. They reshuffle cards back. I could keep Peddler in the jump. I'm okay with that. Let me toss the jump, look for like Teemo. Hey. Hello. Oh, hello, two Teemos. Okay, okay. That's kind of nice. I don't get to play Shirt Spoils next round though, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. We beat one Vile Piece, I lose it to you. This is a bad matchup for Teemo because they have so many removal cards for him. So it's not one you really think that Teemo is going to be able to um, to pop in usually. I must get out of here. Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Salvage Gamer, okay. Hawk into Shared Spoils, probably. That is juiced. Holy, dude. Oh my god. He's got three mana left. Uh, for three mana, he doesn't clear the team out. Grow free. Ooh, quite a collection. Okay, so this is a Teemo game of destiny. Like, the Teemo game. Tusk Creator draw though. I like Tusk Creator. This is a matchup where the card's not bad. 
but you know I don't like buffing it with like the spoils and the, the sear it's not it's not ideal that's what we'll call it that's a plunder Dude, I love it when the deck just works like this, man. Your sides will just be leveled. Everything's good in the world. You no complaints. A couple racks in the bank. That kind of stuff. You just do something like that. It's going to throw him over 3 3, I think. Oh! Hello, Missy. How are you, madame? You can draw a card, my friend. I give you permission. So if I try to thermo this, he can go ahead and just play the, uh, the whatchamacallit. Salvage. So maybe just chill. Go for, like, Sedgen to, like, pull that. We also thermo the tree. We thermo tree, I sedge the 3 3. Kind of like that. Tree's pretty good. I feel like that's better than, uh, than trying to just pull this. I think getting rid of Maokai is pretty good. The toss 2 is just so good for scaling for them. It's just a really ridiculous card early game. You can also Renation here, though. Do we just commit into Renation? I have the Tusk Raider, probably fine, right? I don't know if they usually actually even run that, right? It's kind of confusing. I should be playing to win, though, instead of just playing to, uh, you know, straggle on. If I didn't have Tusk Raider, I might just say open attack's okay. I push like four damage, which isn't insane. Sure, that's fine. Again, like, we're kind of accepting that's gonna happen here, so play into it. It's good for his tree. He draws his shrooms, so Tusk Raider is good. Or three. Three is also pretty good, too. Not bad. You can play Jettison here. Shrooms just got tossed. It's not a good look for us. Point bad, so that happens. Talked about it already. I mean, it's just one of the things that does go down in this matchup. Hit the button. I don't want to lose to Atrocity, so I am going to play around that, I think. Hit the Sejuani button, which is kind of just a win right here. Plays Vengeance. Salvage. He's drawing more shrooms. Oh, man. One, okay. Six mana, how do you stop this? Another day in the field. You don't, dude. This is just Teemo Sedge takeover this game, baby. Quick 4-0. Domination, man. People just don't, don't respect the Teemo. What can I say, man? You bust him out when no one's thinking about him, and I mean... You just laugh with the dub, boys. That's about it. Sure, that's fine. Can't deal with the team though, man. Little guy's just catching these wins. Non-stop. GG. We're always hitting that shroom, dude. I'm not gonna play the archer just to be safe. We're always hitting that shroom, dude. Come on, dude. We're always hitting that. 100% win rate? Yep, this deck does have a 100% win rate.